Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this best of one in the loser bracket round number one We have Vega Squadron versus Scary Faces The winner of this one will be facing up in a best of three versus Hey United This one still needs to be scheduled And once we have the information about that we'll give it all to you But for now, Morality Man, how are you feeling? Doing well? Uh, good, yep, yeah, I'm good, I'm good Good, good Better good? than yesterday, better than yesterday Anyway <coughs> And you only have one match today, we should switch them around <laughs> Probably, yeah. No, anyway, Five let's have a look at eight. what these teams are picking and banning. Well, no pigs yet for obvious reasons, but uh, bans uh, Chen IO. Chen, I'm guessing, is a respect ban. Yeah, the, uh, Vega has been running a lot of uh, Chen's Beastmasters together with DKs. Yeah, there's all those definitely uh, heavy respect. lineups. Yeah. And IO, just because you know, IO in a pro situation, it's an IO. It's an IO. No one wants an IO. <laughs> Uh, Quop and Beastmaster. Beastmaster has been picked up like a huge amount these last few weeks, I would assume. It's just because he's very versatile, he can control the offlane, especially Zuki build. Yeah. So, you know, a bit of pain as well. I mean, her mid is uh, become legendary over the past few weeks as well. Indeed. That's actually kind of. Well. I was expecting Vega to not ban out the Beastmaster because they tend to pick it up uh, for Mac themselves. So, Maybe they just didn't want scary faces to get it. Uh, but then, of course, we see that the gyro crop is such. The pickup has been. Well. Like, kind of normal now. You know, I mean, it gets through, just, it gets picked up. Like, yeah. It's like he's versatile as well as a carry. He has Rocket Barrage, which is an amazing nuke. You know, it's, no, it got I a little bit of like, a nerf. A little bit, but I mean, it's not that bad. Um. He's got homing missile, which is arguably okay. It's okay, not that bad. Uh, he's got flat cannon, which is an amazing farming tool. He's got cooldown, which is not a bad ult. Oh, the nice AOE to it as well, and slow as well. Yeah, and yeah. Well, what response Vega with again with uh, the DK for no one? He has been playing it a lot lately, so yeah. It's I mean also DK in this last patch has been played so often. It's free fire is just damage reduction. As well as uh, now the dragon form receiving that splash damage increase. Oh so, yeah, it's pretty good. They pick up a bane as well, so uh, the bane is interesting because um, usually I would see bane in a more lineup where you have a bit more setup requirements, but I'm guessing that means they're going to pick up some setup later on. They don't mind, and even just for the DK, pre-level 6 is already pretty good, because you can then just walk up towards the person that's nightmared, and just rank and kill him. Definitely, definitely. Instead of, you know, well, running up there while the other one's running away. It's kind of iffy. <laughs> but yeah, but the one problem is that the Bane, he is all single target, so versus the Broad Mother, he's actually not that good. He can get easily killed by her all the time. Laning for the Broad, a mm, little bit hard for Zabane, but once you get Spiralings, it's already fine for her. Yeah. Spiralings, though, I mean, it's still a Brood Mother, which leaves... Which begs the question, what will Vega... I mean, Vega might have to pick up just an Earthshaker or something here to counter out that. Because it still is a Brood Mother. If you leave her alone, you're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, definitely. You will start losing your towers. Might even be something that Vega was looking for, just... No, knowing their well pushy stra strategies that have been running lately. So. Yeah, definitely. And the Broadman, right? He's, a, he's just being picked all the time. So it's really, I actually really like to see heroes like Broadman, but I just like rat heroes. <laughs> well, we do remember the rat meta. Yeah. And it's sort of coming back a bit. Yeah, I mean, bit. you can see, you can see with the Beastmaster pickups, it's like. It's, it's Beastmaster is a very good split pusher, and Broodmother, I mean, is also a good split pusher. They ban an Axe, which is an obvious ban here. I mean, an Axe versus a Broodmother is insta-death to the Broodmother. Yes, let me just uh, have these 100 Spiderlings attack this one guy, which spins uh, a thousand times per second thanks to that. So yeah, good ban there. But now they leave, up, they leave open the Earthshaker, which, I mean, you can pick up in almost any side of lineup, really. Yeah, pretty much works anywhere, and it's also something that just dominates the middle lane versus a DK. Oh, but they pick up a Lash Rock instead. Okay. This is the pushy lineups, and it's also just a setup uh, with Bane. Bit of oh, nightmare. It's just an easy, easy way to get it off. And it's an easy. It guarantees an easy kill. Ah, oh, and there's an Undying on Scary Face's side, which is 
tough, tough. Yeah, and since they got the gyrocopter, they are the ones that kind of have like the, the counter pick for it, but... There's not a lot for Vega that they can actually do to quickly kill off the tombstone. Well, they can. Yeah, I mean, they can get a Luna. They can get a Luna, which uh, affects the, which now affects the zombies as well. But the funny is, you need glaives for keeper that. The but instead, light. they go for a keeper, which is. Team pick. It doesn't affect. Does it affect the zombies? Does light wave affect zombies? No, no. No, it doesn't. So. It's magic. Magic doesn't affect the zombies. I'm guessing this is versus the brute mother. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit. It's this, yeah, the, the wave can really clear it out. Also, when she's pushing in and you just stand behind it in the shadows, and you can definitely kill off the uh, the spiderlings. It also works together really well together with the, the Lash Wreck or on DK. DK, fairly low mana, but still fairly mana dependent. Lash Wreck, well, he's just totally mana dependent. And they're already showing right now that Lash Wreck is going to be run as a core. Yep. It is a Keep of the Light pick here. And it also works really well with the Keeper of the Light because if you mean if he gets to level two, you've got mana, uh, chakra magic, and illuminate. So you can set up a stun for the lash rock, and then you can immediately follow it up with an illuminate. That's huge damage. It's a lot of damage indeed. That should be able to kill off the Brob Mother. <laughs> I mean, if they can get to her, which they probably will. I mean, Sentry Wards are the one counter versus Brute Mother, which she can't get around. Yeah, she can get them themselves, and you get like the war over de-warding all the time, it's just... Yeah, and I think scene. actually, I mean, Broodmother wins that because I don't think supports have too three? much farm. Oh, oh no, not, okay, not uh, just free, but I mean like... If you have the supports buying them. sentry wards all the time, they're gonna run out of money. I mean, they're, they're not gonna have enough gold for like, items. Yeah, well, I think with Vega that they're ever like right now with the DK and Lash Wreck, as well as that Coldo was able to farm the jungle. Like a DK lash pack, they will keep on pushing, so you will get tower gold for it anyway. And you can mm, even pick Rubik. up maybe an early gem, use it, gank, and then even just have the courier nearby, put the, the gem up in the courier, send it back to the base, and then once you try to go and gank him again, just get the gem out again. Well, and that's just, a good idea, that's a good idea. Instead of just carrying it all the time around in the early game, like that can be fairly dangerous and you don't want to lose it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the courier idea is something I haven't heard of before, and I haven't actually seen it implemented yet, so I'm... I want to see that the happening. Uh, they ban out a Pugna, which is... I'm guessing versus the counter... I'm guessing counter push, just make sure that the uh, that scary faces cannot counter push the push coming out from Vega. The thing is though, they can't. They have a gyro. <laughs> it's just uh, also really annoying with uh, the nether strat... with the... Uh, just putting people in the ethereal form. It's just... stuff to deal with and... It's annoying yeah. here at all. And I mean, essentially, like... if Bane is, let's say, nightmaring someone, a uh, nightmare, I mean, if he's gripping, then Bugna can just drain Bane <laughs> while he's doing that. It's really funny to see. You have like these two channeling skills to each other. Yeah. Well, we have Rubik here, which is, um, I'm going to say, a very good pickup. <laughs> versus Bane is just an easy fiend grip. Easy fiend script. It's versus the shrock. Uh, I mean, oh well, you get the instantaneous cast animation. So split up is actually really good. Um, versus Cothal, bag. Most of his spells. Are, I mean, it's, it's it's it's. Let's just put it this way. Most of the spells on Team uh, Vega are really good to steal, as a Rubik. Since you don't have the cast animations for like half of them. Especially Leshrock spells are like, I can just instantaneously cast Split Earth, woo! Yeah, it's pretty tough. Also, Dragon Form is just funny to see. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like a smaller dragon, yeah. it's fun. <laughs> Only Dragon Tail is a little bit iffy if you haven't stolen uh, the Dragon Form before yet, because it's still like the melee range. Still a stun though, you have to remember. Yeah, but as a Rubik, you're not gonna walk up to someone and then Dragon Tail him and then run back. Well, maybe I mean, lift you think, into you. Yeah, lift Dragon it Tail. to Dragon Tail. I mean, it's a combo. It's a combo. It is a combo indeed. But yeah, like what, what, whatever Rubik steals though, I'm thinking it will be very beneficial. I mean, it's like even if you still brain tap, it's still a nuke, a very good one. In in, in that case, it's pure damage, 300 pure damage. If you steal Nightmare, it's also amazing. So yeah. I think really on Vegas side is something you don't want to steal. Okay. But this comes a clockwork. Okay, I was even wondering between the clockwork or maybe the Tide Hunter. Just the Tide Hunter to be able to deal with the Rob Mother as well. And just oh, yeah. once Scary Faces tries to commit on one part of the of the map, just 
know, throw in a Ravage, kill them off, and then go back to kill the Broadmother in the other lanes. This is another good choice. Yeah, this also works. It's good for solo ganks. It doesn't work versus the Undying. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> you actually get completely wrecked by the Undying, if you think about it. Yeah, and... Uh, seeing as it is now in dying, will most likely be run as the support. Since, yeah, time. that's how it so far is looking like. Maybe they pick up another core, then maybe Jairo goes mid or something like that, but... Well, we'll see what their last pick is. Um, to be honest, right now I can't really tell who's going to win. I mean, Scary Faces has incredibly strong heroes. Vega has a very good pushing lineup. Uh, so far, scary, uh, Vega, their lineup is just a little bit stronger in early to maybe mid game, but in late game, scary phases do take off a little bit more. On, on, even though those scary phases have an undying as such, the gyro until his BKB is very susceptible to well, anything from the side of Vega. And if he, if he does have it, he can just get Fiend scripted. So. Yeah, but then you have a Rubik for that. That's the point, isn't it? Yeah, but once the Rubik does that and the Clockwork hasn't used his Yuke, he will hook him or hook them and. Yeah. It'll be interesting. We're going to see how these team fights turn out. Yeah, it will be. One thing is sure, it will be completely messy. Especially if the Broadmother is also there, then we have Spiderlings also running around. And other, otherwise, every team fight Vega tries to take on the top lane they're gonna, or bot lane, they're going to lose towers or middle. So, <laughs> we need to make sure that the team fights aren't that long. And the one problem is they do have burst, but they don't have like extreme bursts. So. Yeah. But like a, li a Lina line combo to just blow up one of the people. <laughs> it's all well, we'll AoE see. motion. We'll see. Um, and of course, complimentary pause. Yeah, provided to you by <laughs> our sponsors. <laughs> anyway, uh, they seem to be pinging out Rosh. Uh, are we going to see some level 1 Rosh here? I remember, wasn't that. Which game? That wasn't the Vega. Was it, which game was it where we saw a level 1 Rosh? Rosh? It wasn't in the Mountain Field Challenge. It was, it definitely was. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Uh, have I'm, a look. You go have a look. I'm not completely sure. It might be of uh, Group A or B then. And we're starting here. For Scary Faces, on the Radiant side, we have Ramses playing the Broad Mother. We have State 21 playing the Middle Zeus. We have Agnar playing the Rubik. We have Quista playing the Gyrocopter. And last but not least, we have Shadow playing the Undying. All right, and on the side of Scary Face, uh, no, sorry, Vega. <laughs> Good job. We have, sorry, uh, we have Mag playing Clockwork. We have Solo playing Keeper of the Light. We have No One playing his DK. We have Seema the Slayer or Kima the Slayer playing Bane, and we have Pasha playing the Lesh Rock. And there are no real aggressive moves so far. Just uh, this ward here put down by the Clockwork Mag. Just to block the camp off, give a little bit of vision of the runes, as well as then rotate again. This is really unlikely to get dewarded. Does that actually get vision of the rune? I'm not. Uh, it's like half of the rune is covered, but. Uh, I think it should. Pretty sure it should, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's, we'll check out. Yeah. Right. Okay. In one minute, we'll see. <laughs> this is a very passive play from the team, staying on their side. It's not something that we've seen in the yesterday's games, where both teams were aggressively looking for each other. Yeah, both teams just want to be safe and just get their respective runes. Although Broodmother might, they actually SFC might, looks like they might want to. No, no, no. Like he <laughs> sees that Seema has like sentries together with uh, with dust. Once he walks in, he will get killed. But yeah, you don't want to waste a bounty rune for your life. It's not really worth it. Uh, yeah, so okay. the DK is going to go mid, and the Shrek is going to be a core, and that was the obvious actually. Um, <laughs> Clockwork, will he do the cog block? Probably will. Yeah. yeah. There we go. He does lose one of his creeps, but it's just one, and he can just block off all the creeps here right now by himself. So just wait for this one creep to die and then let them all go. Yeah, easy, so Jar is not going to get too much far <laughs> these first few levels. But... Yeah, and this also just guarantees like the, the first levels on Mac. Definitely. <laughs> so it means he already has his level 2 pretty early. Meanwhile, Broodmother is being zoned, but she can stay in the trees and get that lovely, lovely XP. It is really what she just needs in the beginning. Yeah. With the sentries already down, it's just gonna be tough. Just doesn't, I mean, the thing is, gold is always nice, but right now, in this situation, you walk out there, you're gonna die. Yeah, you're just gonna get uh, nightmared. 
It was, I'm gonna assume he already split up. No, he doesn't. He will just wait once he gets Nightmare. Yeah, they just... Ramses knows that he can essentially just almost go AFK right now. <laughs> for the first two levels. <laughs> well, he's got level 2 already, so there's that. So does Clockwork. <laughs> but yeah, Clockwork, he's... He's just gonna block the, the waves all the time. Cock them if need be, and... They're looking for that one rune. They uh, can't find it. They're looking for that one ward. They can't find it. <laughs> no, but they just uh, pulled the heavy camp. Pretty Which good. also works. There you go. But still, Mag is... Oh, Mag is, looks like he's in a bit of trouble. But Telekinesis was already used, so... No death for Mags. Gamercopter actually purchased a mango. Uh... Okay, then uh, I'm... I'm not sure about that. It's the deal with the uh, minus four intelligence that she got from last patch. I'm gonna assume for him. He just wanna make sure that he can rocket barrage if he needs to. Yeah, I guess, but it's like you've got 300. Ooh, they're trying to go in on him again. They've got like, he's got like 300 mana level three. That's enough for three rocket barrages. Yeah, about. So I'm meaning, I mean, the mango might be just for later for result. Yeah, probably is. I mean, the mango is usually for later anyway. And he can also just use any others, although Shadow also has a mango himself. Yeah, good point. They just want to have some mangoes. Lots of mangoes. Ice Frog's favorite fruit, by the point. Uh, apparently we have a DC. <laughs> uh, not from our side, though. No, no, he's just starting to stack up the jungle so he can go and farm those later. As he should. You know, he's just gonna keep on uh, putting lanes here. He, he he just cut the three here. Is he on time? Yeah, he is perfectly. Oh no, no, no it's not. He's no. uh, he's just a second too early. Well, not even a second, a millisecond. I think it's crucial. Uh, there's a soul ring up on Broodmother, so she can start spamming up spiderlings if she has to. Yeah, for now it's gonna be, a, but still, there's still the the sentry here, like, hmm, doning her so much. And with, if you can just keep on spamming out lightning, it's going to kill those spiderlings. Yeah, pretty easy. Oh, there you go. Like Better oh, as well. Spider. More far from now. Thank you for, these, for this free gold, you know. Really does help me on my way to my bloodstone. I feel like that's what he's saying. But still, I mean, it's like, this is, it's, it's not a good situation for Broodmother. No, but potentially, like, once they got, like, their top tier one here, then they will start rotating out. Oh, it looks like Zeus is gonna end up. Oh, oh this might be counter kill. Dragon Tail is off cooldown. He also has Dragon Breath. Looks like he wants the courier. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna walk underneath the tower. He doesn't care anymore. Dragon Tail is there. Brief fire as well. And this is gonna be the first blood going the way of no one. Those ma that magic one though. <laughs> Lots of charges on that. Yeah, pretty good. You could dive the tower as a Dragon Knight. Who fought? Would have thought, oh wait. No. Yeah, it's. Uh, it may be a little bit greedy from state 21 to stay there, but I don't think he expected him to just run underneath the tower and go for him. I mean, yeah, I mean, but it was like, how many charges did he have on his magic one that he could heal that all up pretty easily? In 10? Most likely. Yeah, probably. He also had both the charges. So. Yeah, it looks like, uh. Ooh, it looks like Rapsis finally has, uh. His own such reward down is he able to finally escape the situation that he was in earlier. Not really, if he walks into a lane, he's gonna get dusted and killed. <laughs> so oh, he has to, I mean, he's now closer to. <laughs> Nightmare! They know where he is! No, oh, he, he used the spiderlings. Um, free farm, but uh, not what they wanted. Nope. Rem's just getting out there with the uh, nick of skin. Yes, he doesn't really have that many less hits, but the same actually goes for Mech. They have the exact same. <laughs> Although a lot more denies have come out uh, out of uh, Night Pressure. Yep. But that's just, yeah. So far, laning phase going away of Vega. Not a lot happening. DK is level 7 now. So if State 21 is too lo long gone from his lane, he might just push in the middle. Just trying to farm up the jungle. Yeah, there he goes, stacking it up. Doesn't have any static fuel though, so I'm guessing he's stacking it for someone else, because I don't see what how he's going to kill this without any static fuel. Yeah, it's 
something that needs. Um, a Rubik's level four, so yeah, he's not going to be able to do much. They're going to try now. and do something aggressive here on top. Shadow came in. He has he is smoke. He has a tombstone ready as well. Just level one though. Level one, the, the decay, and level one soul rep as well. So uh, we'll see. Lesh Rock is only level five, so might be able to pick up a kill. I level think five the bait, one problem though. is if they go for this, it might be really scary as well. Oh, and, oh no! Then it goes right from the other side of the map. Really easy. Spiraling, tanking the tower, and they want to go for Sima here as well. Nightmare onto Shadow. He's going to use Brain Sap as well, but he's still taking a lot of damage. And the Manati on the backlines do hitting Ramses. Shadow gets off another DK, goes for him. In the meanwhile, bot. They get a kill, they get a double kill. Sima, he is locked in. And he's gonna die here to the Spirelings. That was interesting. But yeah. Mech hookshot together with uh, no one in the dragon's form, killing off uh, Rubik and the Gyro there. So, two engagements going on at once. Focusing on the top one a bit. The uh, brother came out on top there, man. They gave us some much needed gold. On the bottom, though, they lost their core and the support. The support, not that important, but the core. The gyrocopter. Yeah, that's like oh. their their late game uh, hero and yeah. still he's only level five. Level five. Meanwhile, uh, their mid is level eight, which is okay. State twenty one though is kind of lagging behind. He's level seven. Not too bad though. Not too bad. Yeah, let's look out a little bit. No one's gonna run out of his dragon form now as well. But I mean, when you're oh, there we go. Pause. Yeah. But I mean, when your main core is the same level as one of the enemy. team Turns into a kind of a weird situation. It's true, but they just yeah, it's just how it it goes in this case. Like Rubik had, had to stay on the lane fairly well, just most of the time, essentially, because one versus one for gyrocopter can be quite dangerous. Although the Rocket Barrage does a lot of damage, it has been nerfed a little bit, and I'm not completely sure if it will actually be able to kill off Mech before Mech kills him off. Yep. So... That will limit his uh, XP by a bunch, and every time that Mech does the Cox, gets him underneath the tower, it also makes it tougher. That said, they did lose the bot tier 1 as well, actually, for Mega. Unfortunate, but uh, it was low already, so they couldn't stop it. Oh. Just how things go, you know. And okay, Faye guys already again, Shadow Faces as well, and we're gonna go back into the match. Was Surprisingly good? though, Scary Faces doesn't have much damage on their towers, and that's pretty logical actually, considering that their lanes weren't pushed. Yeah, like, State 21 you can just spam out the waves all the time with Arc Lightning, and... Yep. Ram says he's a Broadmother, so essentially he just keeps on killing everything with Spy Links. And well, they don't have... Uh, they don't really have any real pushing yet on the side of Vega, apart from no one. Because Diabolic Edict hasn't been leveled. That's... Yeah, he's going the Lightning build, which means he probably wants to take a few fights earlier on. Yeah, get that early uh, Bloodstone as well and just start on going ham. Yep. Also kills the Spiralings really well. I mean, Pulse Nova being leveled at level 6 is something strange. It's usually you want to level it later, in my experience. Yeah, you don't really have the mana usually, but with... Like a soul ring to get it with arcane boots, uh, you should be able to do. Yeah, you should. I mean, get at least enough damage out to do some serious damage to the enemy team. <clears throat> I think if no enough. one, yeah. Yeah, no, keep. Oh, yeah, I was just saying, like, if no one knew that state twenty one is nowhere near the tower, you would have already pushed it in. Definitely. Um. It's really at the stalemate right now. Just. Oh, these two sentries though, wow. Um, what are they looking for exactly? More sentry wards, but uh, that placement could have been way better. Yeah, they overlap each other fairly heavily. <laughs> oh, it looks like, uh, yeah, the, the Vegas lane is... And look at this. Back. This is Five a value rotation. sentry. Value sentry. Oh. Getting two out of there already. <laughs> wow. I don't think you thought about that, Broodmother. I don't think you thought about that too much. Yeah, that was like a little bit iffy, but yeah, they're just gonna start pushing in the tower now. And Mech is already here. Yes, Luke the shot. Top tower is under attack. Five men here. Oh, there's Undying. Ooh, there's this. Ooh, this looks like this could be an engagement. Yes, yeah. yeah, five people here. All ten of the, actually of the whole game are here. Five from each team. And... 
Uh, I'm just waiting Vegas for the gonna back off, yeah. Vegas gonna back off. It did some considerable damage. Power down to over half of the HP, yeah. yeah. Oh, five man rotation for that? Kind of interesting. They did force out a five man rotation from carry places, but there's nothing really. Oh, nice hit on the spiders. Uh, it's like they can't really abuse that much because they're all up there as well. Yeah, and I don't really. This is not favoring anybody essentially. Well, maybe scary phase because there's already a Midas on the Broadmother. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. Uh, thing is though, it's like. Walking in. Like, walking what's out. gonna happen? Oh, oh, there's gonna be a call down. It's gonna be Tinnacle's Rev, and no one here is dead. No, no, Nightmare saves him, but it doesn't matter. He will still die. Seema taking a lot of damage and not able to kill Quista on the back lines. There's gonna be the Pulse oh, Nova. Nice. Mech comes in there. Another two kills. Eliminate. Pretty much just killing everybody. And, oh no, Nine Pasha. He kills off Quista as well. Three for two trades. doesn't look to be too much in a good situation here. And he dies as well. That's two for four. Whoa. Mech getting a triple kill. That's uh, that cult of blast there, man. So good. Cult of blast combined with power cogs is horrible. It's 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 a nice combo, but it looks like keeper might die here. Yeah, is it gonna no. TP out? One nuke. Yeah, it's enough. Yeah, that's that nuke. Illuminati. I'm just gonna. I always call it Illuminati, man. It's like the secret order just killing you off there. Big blast well, of light, <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> Do you think she did, did Ramses? Can she go in on clockwork? No, he can't. That no, no, he can't. It, no, no, no. That would be suicide. Yeah, it's maybe not suicide, but it's just a really iffy engagement for actually for both of them to take right now. If we uh, look at that worth quickly, yep, no one is top, followed by Pasha, followed by Ramses, which means your off laner is higher than your core. Uh, hello, what? <laughs> it's the Midas. No, that's yeah, definitely the Midas. Well, I mean, it's no, partially but... the Midas. Quista just had some tough time on the bot lane. He also yeah, killed twice, which always sets you down quite a bit. Vegas net worth on the graph is also looking pretty good for now. 3,000 still, but you can catch it up pretty quickly. Yeah, it's not devastating. Both teams have a tier 1 tower and... Yeah. Looks like DK and Bane want to grab something in the jungle. They're looking for the gyro, but uh, they won't find him. He gets out, so... Yeah, Quista notices one already. They have the uh, watch everywhere from middle lane to their own jungle. Middle tower is under attack. But yeah, with the DD on though, and the, I think they're just gonna go push in this bot tower. Yeah, why not? I mean, you've got you—you you can do it. It's not hard, especially oh. with dragon form, and you know you've got the bane and the uh, clockwork backing you up. There's four men in on carry faces. Yeah, there, uh, this is just, they just want to go trade here. But essentially, they can just leave only no one here. And then pop his DD, get his tower ASAP, and just defend middle as well, because they have the Koto here. No, just sending out Bless. Big wave already, uh, almost completely down. They control, they control the side of Vega there. Yeah. And here, look at this. Bot tower taken by no one, and just about a couple hundred... Uh, HP lost on their tower. Mech, ooh, Aww. he misses the hookshot. Well, they know hookshot is down, so they can take an engagement if they want to. They also know Illuminate will be down for the next uh, about 45 seconds. But they can definitely take an engagement. You mean Spear form? Uh, no, uh, yeah, 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 Spear form. I mean, it looks the same. It's like he's illuminated. <laughs> it's also shiny. It's like a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Shiny old man Pokemon. Man, that's something yeah. for the new series. <laughs> yeah, Broadmoor, he's going I mean... for the Dagon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, what? This is the, uh, this is the Broadmoor. This is actually quite a common build. You can build Midas and you build into Dagon. You get that high solo kill potential. And with the Dagon, okay, you're always guaranteed to get farm, so. That's something I haven't seen, like, no. Like, I don't, I, I don't think I've seen that ever, actually. I've seen, I've seen before, but it, it's a fun build, and really, it's it's really great in this case because what is it? Three heroes on the side of Vega are just squishy. Electric, he is a squishy hero. He does have Bloodstone now, so it's a little bit tough, but yeah, still fairly squishy us hero. Usually, solo on a Cottle, Cottle squishy. See him at the Slayer on the Bane, squishy. 
I know he's building up for it. Well, I'm going to assume it's going to be either a mech or a medallion. Which will make it a little bit tougher if it's a mech. Medallion. Ooh, but look at this. Pasha's just getting the bomb, man. Yeah, Pulse Nova. Pulse Nova plus the lightning. I mean, it's... Yeah, that, your spiderlings are dead. Let's just put it that way. Uh... Oops. That's going to be the day again. And they're rotating in three heroes together with Ramses to try and get... Uh, Night Pasha here. Oh dear. Uh, they're running uh, in. Pasha knows it. He, he, knows. The, he, might, he might suicide. Will he suicide? For now he's just gonna keep on running. There's gonna be the and tombstone out. Two TPs in. All the creeps are down. Only one zombie left there. And yeah, they need to start running away. Ah, uh, they know there's tombstone. Oh, uh, there's Dragon Knight with invisibility. Uh, they just so yeah, they're the just tombstone. gonna walk around. They're just gonna. No, they're just. I think. Okay, they're, they're gonna, gonna do gonna... it now. But oh, uh, what? Ah, oh, Dragon Knight. What the. They, have, they had the sentry out, they knew that it was there and they just blew him up. <laughs> Ouch, that one hurts. Oh, uh. well. oh, Pasha once again, just killing up all the spiders. Um. Yeah, they should make like, separate. he already has 155. Oh, oh that was a good uh, bottle blast there, but he has already over 150 less hits. It's really crazy, but it's all those spider links. Just all that, just all that, you know, it's a it's little bit of gold, but it's more than what you're getting. Still enough, it's still enough to like, you know, get him with bloodstone in about 15 minutes. Jesus. Hey, yeah, the first oh, one. solo. ATP, no, Dagon. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, the Dagon is finished, so there you go. <laughs> and that's a dominating streak on the Broadmother. What is Mag doing? Do you want to solo kill someone here? Because that would be suicide. Yeah, he does have a blade mill, but yeah, it's not gonna help him out too much. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be cool. Almost expected them to run up from there. Looks like it. Yeah, they're just gonna lose this tower. Like, there's no way to defend this. Uh, they're not actually gonna get a trade for it, so. They just don't, Ooh, don't wanna take the fight two, with Solo down. level 2 on Brood. There's a medallion on Bane, though, so finally okay. there's a bit of armor. It was the. But the one problem there is it doesn't really help you versus the broth. Still gonna die. Yeah. It's nice versus the spider legs, but essentially it's just the nukes already coming out from uh, from him as well that will just kill him off. Uh, the glimmer cape. But won't that take too long to long to get? The glimmer cape is already up on line, Pasha. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he can use it to save uh, save Sima then. But yeah, he needs to be close to Sima and. Are they always going to be together? Question. Not really. But it does mean that Night Pasha now has a way to get out of the brute mother. That's true. But See, does that's she it. have enough damage to bring him down there? No, she does not. No, but Especially with that pulse nova, it's just... Like, her spinalings are just going to insta-die. Yeah, they, they're just melting away. One, two of those uh, hits and they All that. Three last hits, three gold going the way of uh, Pesha there. But... You don't usually want to give him. Just look at it, he's just like a man, he's just running through all of it. Doesn't care. Doesn't care for one bit, but he knows that the entire enemy team isn't up there. Oh, there's a vision of them. So it's like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna push your tower. Um, Should be able to. Yeah. For... He's not even oh, forcing they're all top towers they're just... But they're, just, they're, just, they're all just gonna walk up now, what? Yeah, they're, they're gonna walk into mech with the Invis rune here. They're gonna walk up the stairs here. And yes, Ooh. Shadow is gonna do that. Those Nova, not doing a lot, they're walking away. Glimmer Gabe used as well. Mech is pushed back and he's gonna die here. It's the first casualty of war. Pesha's in the back line. There's gonna be the Spiderlings. Pesha, he's gonna die here to Broad. Rems is getting a kill there as well. Now on a mega kill streak. They're gonna follow Solo here. He has a rocket on him for staffing the rocket forward as well. And there's gonna be a rocket stolen from the Rubik used. And, oh, Brainship used on, uh, on Eggnard. He's fairly low, pulled back on Sima. They're just gonna try and focus him down. Briefly is as well. Sima taking some damage from the Rocket Barrage, but... So far, he's still alive. Sola's still alive. There's gonna be the Dragon Tail out on stay 21. Oh, there is... Oh, Pasha, he came back in here right now, and he's just cleaning up. Shadow taking a lot of damage here. He's gonna run away from here. Are they gonna be able to find him? Yes, they will with the Lightning there. And That was an equal trade, I believe. Three for one, it ended up to be. 
Oh. Uh, that was a 2 2 for 2. two, for yep, two equal right. trade. Whoa! Well, favoring it... SFC. Favoring yeah, yeah. SFC. Getting Gorse is a little bit more important. Ah, but now they're going to take Rosh? What? Yeah, they're going to take Rosh. Oh, they have the armor reduction. That's true. Yeah, they have the medallion on the Seema already, so why not? What's going to stop them? Not really. I mean, most of all... Yeah, no, I mean, they're not anywhere near Rosh right now. Well, they've got 12 seconds on the ult uh, of uh, Zeus. Definitely going to use it. Um, once it comes up, they will in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Have a look. Well, that's a really fast one. Yeah, it's off now, but... There yep, you go. It's gonna be used mech. They're all really low, but they're not gonna be there in time though because Rush is already down and just can start running away right now. And unfortunate, unfortunate. Oh, uh, Rem says he lost all of his pilings again to Solo now. Just blessing those uh, poor old quickly pilings check, down. Quickly check the net worth uh, list and tell me what's unusual. <laughs> it's just. Oh. It's a check oh, oh. Come on, now it went away. <laughs> it was a checking board earlier. Sort of like a checking board. It went like, you know. Anyway. Uh, I was looking at the uh, at the net worth grab, like, okay, what 5k I had on Vega. 5k I had on the. Uh, well, actually, on both, like gold as well as XP and. Yeah. That, well, I thought you were meaning that. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Ramsey says a level 4 Dagon, level 5. What does he usually. What do you usually build after Dagon then? Like, you go into standard room, mother, lads? Uh, usually by boot. Uh, oh wait, he didn't buy. Ah, right. So after they're taking, he will probably get some boots. Uh, after that, uh, it really is just what you want to go. You can even build a bit orchid just to be more dangerous solo, or you can even start transitioning into more fighting builds. Maybe get BOTs into uh, DKBs oh, yeah. and other things. And they're gonna go after solo. Or step forward on Quista. Ball down is used. Solo, he's gonna die from spiderlings as well as the uh, rocket that's gonna follow him. I think he's gonna die from the spy links. Maybe the rocket, but on the oh, spy Oh, the rocket's still there. What level is the rocket, though? Oh, well, oh. it doesn't hit technical reps. She's just gonna kill him. <laughs> Not gonna oh, leave it to chance. For kill steal, Zeus. Kill, for kill steal. <laughs> no, no. Better to be safe and sound there. If he did kill off the rocket, then it was like. Hmm. And then the spy links are just like easy. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice hook. Well, to Agnard, he's being pushed back. They're gonna follow him there. He's just gonna get, uh, yeah, he's just gonna get a solo kill here, quite easily. Lift up. Oh, but not. Turn back. Maybe. Ooh. No, he's, not. he's not. Well played not there. Good job, Agnard. Putting him up lift? just down the cliff. Perfectly. I was actually ex really expecting him to be there. there. Yep. There's a gem up on Dragonite. Uh, for the Broodmother. Yeah, definitely for the Broodmother. Uh, Gem up on Dragon Knight. There's also a Shadow Amulet. Yep, that's going to be a Glimmer Clay up on the Undying pretty soon. Um, I'm guessing Dragon Knight probably wants to upgrade that Silver uh, Shadow Blade to a Silver Edge pretty soon. Yeah. Um, next item for Lesh Rock is of course going to be his Ags, during the Point Booster. Uh, and of course for Clockworks, ah uh, no, four stuff. Probably. Uh, this usual build up once you get an intelligence step first, and he already has it actually. Yep. yep. And there's already an Ugg's up on Kothal, which is definitely very nice. Yeah, it's with the, that's just what you get for farming uh, with the Kothal into the jungle. And they're just transitioning into this into a nice old bottom push. You still got the Aegis for two more minutes, so they might as well use it. Pesha on the front lines. Edict out. No glyph used, or do they even have one? Yes, they do. But they won't uh, use it for this one. They want to use it for the high ground defense. Which will be coming out now. Indeed. Dragon oh, uh, they're actually going to go in on this. That is interesting. Like ah, here's the cliff. Portmonder is not pushing out top apart with the spilings a little bit and they won't be able to get a tower there. Ooh, the illuminate, that was a nice stolen and illuminate from uh from Rubik. Uh, that yeah. oh that knocked back though. But Solo, he is uh, dead there as well. Macarena is it's, it's in there with the hook shot, but he's taking a lot of damage here as well. No one. He's just trying to man up here with the BKB, but he will just die. And Mac is going to take a spill as well. It's already four dead, five dead actually, because the Aegis just got popped by Pesha here. He's oh, fighting up. He's, he's going to get the one kill back. Agnard is dead. Stay 21. He has to start running away right now, but there is Dagon. <laughs> uh, it will cost him his life, but in the end, it's a five man wide. Plus Aegis just for the two, two people on the scary faces, so. As well, this Still, though, I mean, you saw the lash rack. That guy was scary. Yeah, but they, 
Everybody just died too fast and he just wasn't able to deal out that consistent DPS there. Hang on a sec. I was wrong with the acronym. Slash Rack is actually going Octarine Core, which is a much better item on him than I just noticed. Well, not really. I mean, it's situational, but the Octarine Core in this situation is amazing. It's just so nice. It's like, oh yeah, you, you're not going to be able to kill me because I'm healing up everything after you. Ugh. This is just scary. Did you uh, see the clip with an Octarine Core on Bristleback, by the way? Yes. That was crazy. As well, as well. But the thing is, it's like it's not a usual build up on Bristleback. You don't, you won't get it until like you cr in ultra late game. And yeah. Shrek is now rushing him, which in a situation where I wouldn't consider it to be ultra late game. So, oh, it's still in the mid game. Yeah. So, but with that item as well, he's just also gearing up already for the late game. Then, but it's ahead it's, right now of the broad motor. It's such a good item though, like especially on this rank with all his spells being low cool, relatively low cooldown and. I mean, Pulse Nova, cost? just Pulse Nova. Yeah, I mean, just Pulse Nova. <laughs> it's just... It's gonna be tough to kill him off. After that, he's definitely gonna be building up a BKB. Yes. I would really be surprised if he doesn't build a BKB after the... After the Octarine Core. Yeah, I mean, it's like... Uh, he's gonna walk around and not only have a BKB up, but he's gonna be able to lifesteal all that. That's gonna be really good. And he actually already has the Octarine Core. I was just looking up how much an Octarine Core costs because I actually haven't used it so far. It's yet. 6,000. It's like 6,000. Yeah, 5,900. But yeah. he already has it. I was wondering how much he still needed. So that's and, not uh, up. That's um, going to be tough. <laughs> like, what are you going to do now? Building up, yeah, well, Gyro's building up to a BKB, so at least he's got that going for him. It means he can. He's going to be able to dodge the damage from Leshrock, which is very good. And still, he's, uh, what's he gonna do? Like, he's not dealing that well big amount of physical damage what you want him for eventually. He's still just mostly magic damage based right now. Yeah, he's gonna do all that smoke up from scary faces. But yeah, you're right, Gyro's only dealing damage with cooldown at this point. And they s try and scout out someone with the uh, ult, but. Uh... It's gonna look out ref, but yeah, it's. Like, they. Once you use it, it's also quite obvious for Vega that you're gonna try and do something. So Solo already started moving back. He's actually moving forward now. Okay, that might be. What's just just what's that arm, you know? Oh dear, Solo. Yeah, he's caught out. They're gonna find him and they're gonna kill him off here as well. And there you go. They run into him. The Dagon there almost instantly kills him. They even throw out the tombstone for good measure. And oh, he did heal himself. <laughs> yeah, so good pullback, but doesn't matter. Still dead. Probably not picking up another kill there. 8 to 1 already. They need to kill off this brute mother. <laughs> I think that's gonna be like one priority that they really need to do. They need to kill her off. Yeah, or you just start pushing in top. Like, if you push in top, then you're just standing on her lane, essentially, because she really has, she has just set up shop there, not on the other lane so far, so. And yeah, we're just a Dagon. It's, it's just really, it's more of a killing brute mother right now instead of a pushing. And if, yeah, even with the blink dagger, it's even more. Focus towards killing. I mean, of really, like she, yeah, yeah, I mean, push. look at her health. It's 1,271. She's relying completely on her webs and rotations. Yeah, if she gets if called she out, she's dead. That's 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 without a fact, without a doubt. You know, the thing is though, she's not going to get caught out because she knows how to play brute mother. Yeah, with the blink, you know, you can just blink into the trees at any time. So. Or further into the, the trees, maybe like, better worth. <laughs> you don't have to farm with your hero. You can farm with the spider links, which is. You know, which is makes nice. it everything easier. Makes everything easier. You don't have you could you. One of the main goals of Brute Mother, don't get caught out. Indeed, and you can even use your Dagon right now to farm. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much with the low cooldown on it. And Mac is going uh, an Aghanim here. He wants to. Wow, low cooldowns. <laughs> Always nice. Keep on reinitiating there. And uh, Pesha, he has his uh, Ogre Club. He's gonna go uh, BKB as expected. There's gonna be a pipe though, build up onto solo right now. Oh, that that, that all did nothing. <laughs> just scouting. They're wondering if when rush is gonna be up. It's gonna be fairly soon, so I just want to make sure that they're not doing it without uh, them knowing. Essentially, no one is skipping Silver Edge, which does make a bit of sense because there's no one really to Silver Edge like consistently. I mean, it's like, do you want a Silver Edge to Gyro and that's it? Great. Um, the Aura. 
on Agnar? The arrow is good, yeah. I mean, the arrow. Uh, Road Mother? Agnar, maybe. Yeah, but I mean, it's like. Uh, Zeus actually loses a lot of DPS. But he's, got a, he's only going Assange, which means that. Uh, he just needs 600 more gold, that's what you're waiting for. There you go, now he yeah. has it. He was just waiting for it. Oh, crap. I messed up on that one. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's fine. I've got my itemization. I've got my itemization. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Four, yeah, this is going to be a whole night of studying the old patch notes again. <laughs> but she's going to screw me. Oh dear. Anyway. I'm just waiting for Seema to pick up the solar crest. Like, once you have that and just pop it on 9th patch or no one there, essentially they're just unkillable. Especially once 9th oh, yeah. like patch again. Just run around like, yeah. what are you going to do? I have mischance for me. Yeah, and all that armor and Pesha, even magic resist there, going crazy as well. With solo quest plus oh this oh this stack. Like this is the one thing that that scary phasens hasn't really been able to do due to the fact that they don't have that much map control is the stacking. And Vega on the other hand they just stack this one up and with the dragon form they're just taking it all. And uh, yeah, he just went from what is it, zero gold back to fourteen hundred. Now That's his almost sixteen. Yeah. What do you think is gonna go next though? He's got the BKP, he's got the silver edge. What does he need? He needs the. Uh, oh yeah, he needs armor. He needs attack speed. And you know what gives armor and attack speed? I want to say uh, Define Rapier. Oh, yeah, of course, always. <laughs> no, but essentially he's gonna start building up towards an AC. And that's the that's the item that he will go for, especially when someone they're trying to look for high ground and solo. He's just getting some casual arrestments here from Vesmus. Not even throwing in the Dagon there. I mean, he, it's taken five, and it's not even killing off the <laughs> keeper of the light. No, he, he didn't use it, he's using it now. <laughs> so, like, you wanna run away? Fine, here, I have a Dagon. But it's like, he doesn't care, he has a ring of health. <laughs> he was just reason up, as well as with the tranquils, so... He's fine. Also, you once he got... Pasha. Hmm? Yeah. Pasha has only has five bloodstone charges, which you could consider kind of bad, actually. It's one, fairly low, but the Octarine core already helps him out a yeah. lot with the, the mana regen. It's just, the, the game is actually relatively quiet due to the fact that they're not getting a lot of kills and yeah. But, but Bacon really those team fights. Oh, hookshot, oh. mech, missed. Put into the air, battery assault, stolen by Agnar there. Not the skill that he wanted. I just want to say this. Yeah. Before the fight start, 9 patch at 300, oh, 315 less hits. It's almost 10 less hits a second. Of course, they have the broad model, but still a lot. <laughs> and after that. 10 last hits a second. Oh shit. And then you have Solo. He no, is no, about. 10 last hits a minute, you mean? Not a oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Minute, minute, minute. Sorry, my bad. Minute, minute. I mean, minute. And then Solo. He has about 7.5 less hits a minute as well. So it's even for support Colo, he has. He's just. He's just stacked, man. He's just farmed. He has his pipe. He has 1.2k gold as well. All that's missing now is the Guardian's Greaves. I don't think he's gonna go for that. A no, little bit late uh, for Mecha. Ah, I mean, Guardian, still Guardian's Greaves. Ah, well. A bit late for that as well, I guess. Yeah. He's just gonna buy a, a gem for now. There's another rocket. There, there you see that dragon going damage right now. There, there's a hyperstone, of course. Weeds. That AC is gonna be there real soon. Yeah, unless maybe he wants to go Mjolnir, it's fine versus the uh, Birdlings as well. Oh, I guess, yeah. But it doesn't hit Indus heroes summer. anymore. Yeah, that, that's a bit of a problem, though. The thing is, though, it's like that aura on the AC is incredibly nice. Indeed. Just like, you know, that minus armor, let's just uh, make sure the entire enemy team has a little less health than they would like. Yeah, a little bit less effective health pool there, yeah. I'm just waiting, it's still, I'm still waiting for a Mjolnir or someone here. Just because, so you can throw up a Mjolnir, uh, the static charge, to get it with the... Uh, well, everything they essentially have. Ah, that hook, that hook was just barely missed. You know, the, the medallion to get it with... Uh, oh, they nice the Korea. To get it. Yeah, those spider links are... Luckily, there yeah. was nothing on the Korea. Yeah, the gem was already uh, delivered to Solo there. Dagon out, 9 Pesha gonna activate his BKB here, just starts running in with the pool snowball. 
as well as the Glimmer Cave. Doing a lot of damage here, but actually also another just Glimmer Cave on the other cool. side. He has to start running away right now, and he's going to take Spill here right for while his team can help him up. And they're not even getting the tower out of this. This is just 9 Pesha Dead 4 step onto Ramses. He's going to try and follow this one up. They're going to use the Nuggets Rev there. Mag, no, they're going to leave him trying to go after Solo, but no one. He's going to try and reinitiate him to this. He has the Aegis. He's going to start man fighting it up here. And he's going to get a kill. No, he's not. Invisibility there, true to the camera clip. Stage 21, he will die, though, to no one. No, he's not. He has stick charges. He can run away. He has the, uh, the Bloodstone Suicide there. Now no one. Well, he has the Aegis. Will be popped. No backup. That's his ult down. That's his ult down, though. Big versus one. Who will win this? Well, essentially, not no one. He will take <laughs> one kill, and he... No! Oh. Whoa, well played there. He just kills him off. TP's out, realizing they have nothing to stop this. But Rubik That's not being there, nor the Zeus, no stuns. The 1,500 gold swing for SMC, but uh, they still kill off the Brood member, and they still kill off the Zeus. Yeah, it's... It's the swing, but it's, it's not a very large one. No, it's, it's actually really large. When you have four people down, essentially you're, they're not farming either, they're not taking up EXP as well. and. From there on you will start really seeing the difference. Well, I guess so. Still, my Pash is already back, so... Yeah, he's back, but he has almost no charges anymore. Recharges down. Hey, okay. Bloodstone didn't really do much. I'm guessing he thought he was a bit uh, indestructible with that Octarine core, but... Uh, uh, didn't really work out for him in the end. I mean, the lifesteal did not surpass the amount of damage that was done to him. Uh, and now we actually see a, a Sanjay Yasha on the gyro. He just wants to tank up a little bit more. Tank up and be able to deal a bit more damage than he could before. Yeah, I'm still waiting. I think he might go Satanic next or he should probably go like something like an MKB or something along those lines. Just to counter out the damage, possible uh, Solar Crest. Or have his Halbert. Um. Who says a blink finally? So mobility, mobility, mobility. Um, yes. He does. Yeah. Finally, uh, finally, uh, Clockwork was able to pick up uh, the agonims. Yeah. So, so he, he has a lot of hook shots. He's only level uh, 13 throw, so he's fairly low. Yeah. AC is up on. Hey, so there you go. And that's a huge amount of armor on DK. <laughs> and I have the feeling that Vega is feeling. A little bit pressured right now. They just want to I mean, get to the. Look at the gold swing. Look at the gold swing. It's going right back down again. Yeah, they're farming, uh, farming just so much more effectively due to the fact that they have the Coldo there. And oh no, Krista oh. caught out Dragon Tail. Stay 21. He blinks in. Turnicles right as well. This was the bait here from SFC. Fe Vega caught out here. No one. He is just gonna give his life away. Well, on the backline, Stay 21 actually also gets another kill there on Sima the Slayer. Now 9 Pesha is there as well. We're gonna find him. Egnard got a nice bless into the face. Pesha. Blade Earth hitting Egnard. He's just gonna try and get a return kill here at least. Day 21 and he needs to TP out. He's still got enough time on the BKB and he's able to make it. Two down for just the poor, Sports. poor Rubik. Great. Yeah, now we're seeing like uh, the late game is starting to come out from SFC side. The damage is failing off. It's a Nashrak who's running out of Ace, I'm gonna say. Yeah, he has he has a lot of farm though. He's still the number one position, but if you focus him down, he still dies. E really pick up the yeah. e blade. I just saw it like. Essentially, he can pretty much just solo kill most of the people from Vega. Maybe not uh, the DK or the uh, the Lash Wreck, due to the fact that they're fairly farmed. And but even Mac, he might even be able to kill him off. Chima should die as well solo. I feel like though, it's feel like um, no one is really underperforming for right now. Yeah, they're just, like, they're just, just trying to force it. There. As I said, they're, they're feeling forced and they feel like they have to do something and that's just make him to go into these well, fairly awkward uh, situations there. They see Ramses though, do they have something to detect him with? No, they don't. He blinks out. Hookshock into. Oh, oh he's outside of his web right now. But he just uses his Dagon. Vega. 
Really? Oh, he does get up the Feast Cap here, though, but it doesn't really matter because Ramses is still alive. Barsha starts running in. Glimmer Cave there is used as well. Barsha split Earth, hitting Eggnard. He might take a spill here. No, he just heals himself up. Dude, yeah. Due to the fact that uh, the Zeus died. And now no one. He tries to man fight this here. Questa taking some damage here. Pasha is going to get Eggnard here. No, Stick Charge uses, and now he will die here, actually, as well. Questa now will take the spill as well. And this is 3 for 2 so far for Vega. Shadow TP's out. And Vega push, gets stopped. Up, yeah. yeah, those bloodstones there just keeping uh, Agnard alive a little bit longer. Was well, funny. Was funny. It's like it's, um, it's an interaction you don't, don't really expect, but uh, you get anyway. Yeah, it doesn't oh. really matter. Oh, no one. He's already down. To well, just lost seventy-five percent of his health there. That, that's like if you played Dagon is. <laughs> With a nice funny. up lightning bolt. Funny. It's funny. And with the BKB already down to what I'm gonna assume is already. Oh, it's almost five seconds now. But yeah, it's, six. Oh, yeah, it's really. It's nearing into the five second there. And from then on, Zeus just starts to get his relevance back once it's solo. You can just wait out the BKB then and start dealing the massive damage. And with the blink, you should be able to position yourself in such a way that he can get to you. Well, yeah, unless like... you don't mech. I mean that blink pickup was late, but it was all it was definitely a very good one because you know, it's a blink. It's a positioning. It's just pure positioning. Indeed. There's a glimmer cape up on Bane, so at least he can count on his ult without the fear of being interrupted. And they're gonna take Rosh once again. Yeah, and then we got ref it's on cool it's off cooldown, so they are able to scout this one out, but this <laughs> it's actually it's already too late. And uh, like this is the third rush, so for Vega, and they every time they just end up in a weird situation where they don't get anything done. Yeah, the first one they did something with it, the second one was eh, not really. Um, but at least Dragonite How has a Crystalis, so he's building some damage, which is okay. I mean, uh, he's got the attack speed; he just needs damage now. Yeah, a nice old crit stick always helps out with that. Yep. A little Probably bit to the RNG gods, you know, get us lucky crits at the moment you need. Or hope, hope, hope. There's a Lotus Orb up on, on dying as well, so it means that Dragon Tail might not be as effective. Yeah, that will be sent back to you as well. Fiend Script, Nightmare, Hookshot. What a hope um, as well. <laughs> no, not Split Earth, Lightning, though, does from the yep. S-Rack as well. Kotal, Mana Drain. But more that was about it actually. And Feeble. Feeble, yep. Brain set. Essentially all uh, brain. <laughs> nightmare? Yeah, nightmare. You already said nightmare. Uh, uh, yeah, that was actually off. Uh, mm -hmm. Have if any items that do something so far? So the press maybe. Oh, no one. Let's just pop his BKB already and start running away. That's a six second down to five, which doesn't really matter uh, too much, but. Uh, you might still. as well get it down to five anyway, just for the reduced cooldown there. Oh, Mag. Pulled up into the air, get it back there as well, he's just gonna die, he loads the orb, is put on Quista, and he's gonna start running Sima. forward. Dagon there, getting off Sima, two down already on the side of Vega, and they're the one with the Aegis, but they're just getting run down here right now. Bottle building up into a Hex, I assume, that Mystic stuff. I don't think he's gonna build up into an Octarine core, doesn't sound too much of a good idea. No, it doesn't really help him that much. So yeah, it should be in a side. With the Lotus Orb, he can be the one actually turned into a piggy as well. Let's see, Clockwork, does he want to maybe also grab a Hex? Just have two Hexes? Thing is though, he hasn't been able to do anything these last few minutes. Oh, Clockwork, he has fallen off. He can't go versus, uh, versus the Roman. he will just die there. And that's the problem. And what is it, even a Rubik? He has a Glimmer Cape. I had to drop staff. the crit. I had to drop the crit stick. Ah, oh, they're going ganking, okay. Yeah, no, that crit stick drop was kind of interesting. Yeah, he wants the... Uh, he's looking for a kill into the uh, Broadmother, so... He values the gem for that. Because otherwise, you know, okay. he can't find it. He could have, like, put on the Coddle. I don't know. Does Coddle have space, though? He, he has enough, more than enough actually. Yeah, yeah he could have indeed given a good coddle. But yeah, he's... He's just valuing this one more and... Two minutes until the uh, 
Jaegers is reclaimed, so... Eve is about to come up on uh, Meshrak. He has a bit to go, but... He's got the... He's already got the Mystic Staff, and he just needs a bit of... A bit more for the play mail. Oh no! Ramses, he has found out Fiendscript into him as well, and this is just a kill onto the Rob Motor. And he doesn't have a buyback! Ah, yes. Good point. That's big. That's really big. They're just gonna go and push in right now, I'm gonna assume. But they know that a lot of the burst damage is already gone. Yeah, if he buys back, they're gonna back off, but... As you see now, Can't that it's not back. used. Oh, this tower is almost down already. They have to glaive it up. But not before it almost <laughs> just goes oh, down there. Dragon Tail. Yeah. Yes, BKB there. Well, Glimmer Caves. Rocket not doing anything due to the fact that the BKB. Tombstone is down on the back lines. Mech, he hookshots and kills off stage 21. There's gonna be, well, the first hit already. Instant buyback from him as well, but they're gonna lose the melee racks at least here. Now they're gonna go for the ranged. And Tenecus Rev not doing a lot due to the fact of the Glimmer Capes all there. Mech gets another hookshot in into state 21. He uses his Glimmer Cape as well. And now they're just gonna try and transition into this into the mid tower here. Egg is used. She's eaten no, no, by drops. Pasha. And Quest he activates his BKB and tries to go man mode here. No one is gonna get pulled up, thrown back. And he's gonna start getting focused now. He's just too tanky though. Glimmer Cape there as well. They do see the rocket onto him. But the rocket should be able to be destroyed before he can do anything. Although Sima is going to take a spill. Yes, there you go. He dies. And uh, this should be the fight. Right? This is the fight. the fight. Um, yeah. Two racks down and they lose a support. Lose Aegis, but I'm guessing that was worth it. That was probably worth it. Broodmother. Not finding anybody. Unfortunate. Have a look at the fight recap. Both teams. Egg actually gold loss. <laughs> well, yeah, due to the facts of the deaths and the buybacks. Yeah. So only one buyback, only one death on the side of FFC, but they do lose racks. So big, good trade off for Taker. Yeah, and they just used your Aegis, which is like what was it? Another one minute time left. They did have to spend the uh, the cheese though. But yeah, it's fine. They get the side. We look back, if we look at the neat team net worth, like the graphs, 14,000 for Vega and same on XP, so they're doing really well. The thing is, though, it's. They're, they're really under pressure because the net worth, the whole net worth is on two heroes that are. One of them is falling off, and the other one is. Uh, well, he's actually doing pretty well for himself. Yeah, both are still doing fine solo, however, he is also just being the nice core as well. You know, he already got the side, he got. He's just so strong for his team right now. I'm actually amazed that we haven't seen a uh, Vladimir's offering on any of the teams just for the late game value with the uh, plus damage, more armor, lifesteal for everyone, those kind of things. The good things. Yep. Uh, I'm wondering who. Oh no, Vlad is on Bane, though. Bane got it? Okay, yeah, I didn't Bane. see it. Okay, which I haven't checked it. actually him. too good which, because he's just. He's one of the first ones that dies in each one of these engagements. Yeah, you would prefer maybe on what well, clockwork also just goes in a little bit. Well, he hooks it in the and then just yeah. But that's the hook shot and oh. Oh, he almost he almost got off that uh, blade mail there. Yeah, but a little bit too late. Oh, oh no no, and he starts walking in. There are no oh, <laughs> the damage there. Oh shit, no webs there. He can get out still. Krista is now being focused. Screen script is used in August Rev. Just look at this screen script, making sure that Krista dies here now. State twenty one hexed up dead as well, and this. There's gonna be another tier one in the middle. Tier three in the middle, I mean. Jedo Invis. This is GG. This is Scareface, they need to do something. This is the tournament live. Here on the line. Nine Pasha takes a damage. Shadow, he's gonna die here as well. And double kill going away of Mech. This is GG. Scary Faces is out of the Mountain Trail Challenge here. And Vega is gonna to continue to fight up versus Hehe in a best of three. Fairly soon. <laughs> Ah, well, didn't even die. Yeah. But we well. can... This is just, yeah, this is what was expected by, by pretty much everybody. They got to win. Although, FFC put up quite a fight. You have, yeah. to, give, you have to give them that. Indeed. What was the e bet? It was 70 to 30. D2L ended up being 67 to 33. And they, got, they had to dig deep for this one. Let's Very have a look. Good. I mean, there wasn't really... I mean, Vega was 
leading on that were throughout the game. But, I mean, SFC was still able to come in from behind. It was interesting. It was very interesting to watch. It was a fun game to see and, well, in the end, man, Kotl. I like Kotl. Go Kotl. Go Kotl. Lots <laughs> yeah. of gold on him. Yeah, anyway. though he has zero kills, so reported for feeding. <laughs> Take for a Shima. No. They both played really well, especially the Finch Grimp in the end with the Rubik that he can just get it off all the time. And yeah, that was actually it all for today already. Again, thankful to the sponsors, East Battle. Uh, soon we also have G2A actually joining us. We have uh, Kingston HyperX, we have Intel, and we have at the moment as well Asus ROG Republic of Gamers backing us up as well. And that was it for today. I'm going to go over to the waiting screen again. Show some commercials, those kind of good things for us, and that's it. See you guys later. Till later.